Hi friends. So this program is about early math skills that you can easily do at home with your children. They, it's a fun way to kind of sneak in these skills so the kids don't feel like they're doing any hard math, but it's just a lot of fun. So first, um, if you do have at home some M&Ms, um, rainbow goldfish, if you have some clothespins, and if you have some dice, um, these games um, you can print out from home and then you can easily play these games. If you don't, I'll show you what you can do to easily adapt. Okay, so first, I just wanted to go over um, what these skills are that the children are learning doing these activities. The first is numeral identification, which is learning what the 10 numerals look like, one through zero through nine actually. Um, there is somewhat some kind of visual discrimination skills here that they have to learn because there are numbers that look alike, like six and nine and one and seven. So that's the first skill that they'll be learning. The second is one-to-one -one correspondence. And all that means is that each object being counted represents one or one more. Um, counting on, this allows children to continue counting objects that are added to a previously um, counted group. Um, pattern recognition, this is a, this is a skill that you find um, is needed in preschool and kindergarten. Um, first, you have an easy pattern, which is A, B, like apple, banana, apple, banana, apple, banana. And then it goes to more advanced, which is like A, B, C, or A, A, B. And they'll be doing this throughout school and kindergarten, first and second grade. Um, classifying and sorting is very important because this um, develops logical reasoning and independent thinking. So while if you gave a bunch of buttons to three kids, they would sort them differently probably. One could sort them by size, one by color, and maybe one by the materials such as plastic or metal. So that's very important. Okay, so now we're just gonna go through some of those activities. So the first activity we'll start with is goldfish graphing. And all that really is, is um, having a chart with a different color fish that you can find um, in rainbow goldfish and just color in the different colors and then have the children take the crackers and sort them and just give them a handful or a bowl full and they'll sort them and then you can ask them a variety of questions so how many yellow fish do you have and they'll count one two three four five six do you have more green or more purple and they'll be able to discriminate between the green and the purple and what the length of the bars are and they can answer you purple. Um, what color do you have the least of? They should be able to see right away that they have um, the least color of green. And then if you ask them a question, if you ate one red fish, how many fish would you have left? So you can put your finger over it, whatever, and then have them count how many you would have left. So that's goldfish graphing. And you can do the same with M&Ms. Um, again, here's the colors of the M&Ms. You can actually put the M&Ms on each space. They do have the bar here that has numbers and then colors. So you would ask them how many uh, do they have the most of? And they would say red, or how many do you have the least of? And ask all kinds of questions um, pertaining to the graph. So that's fun graphing. Next, we have counting clip cards that look like this. Um, and you have the picture and then you, they have three numbers that they put at the bottom and the child has to see what number corresponds with what they counted. So obviously this is three. So you give them a clip and they would clip it on the proper number. This is two, so they would clip it on here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they need to find the number eight. Okay? And they, those are readily available online as well on a variety of different themes. The next one we're gonna be looking at is patterning. Um, this is the uh, ABAB pattern. So you would just say the name of the item. So snowman, hot chocolate, snowman, hot chocolate. And then they would tell you what comes next, the snowman or the hot chocolate. So we know here it's snowman. So when you would put the piece there and then what comes next? And then we know it's hot chocolate and they'll put that there. And then lastly, you ask them what would be the last piece and they'll hopefully say snowman and then you put the pieces in. Um, these come in a variety of different patterns. They have the more difficult patterns or the very easy patterns. And you just have to cut the pieces out and put them on the board. Okay, and then we have same and different. So these are a lot of fun. Of course they come in very uh, a lot of different themes. 
but here we have um, here is color discrimination uh, here's three earths that are uh, blue and green and they have to find the one that's different which is obviously the red one and this one here is uh, spatial differences or directional so here we have uh, a comet going through space they're all going this way the child has to find the one that does not um, belong or is not the same as the others or here you have astronauts standing on the moon um, obviously all of them are to the right except for one and this one is to the left so those are a lot of fun for kids to do and then next I have a couple of dice games which I I, I like dice games I love when kids know what dice are and they know what's on the face of each die and they can have fun just putting them in their hands and throwing them so this one is ladybug roll and count cover math so I'm gonna roll a five and then you just have to find the five and cover it. So I'm gonna throw the dice again and it's eight. So we're gonna look for the number eight and then you just cover it like that. And then until the whole board is finished. And then another dice um, game is dice race where you have two players, one, two. You can use dry erase markers with this one because you can clean it easily afterwards. And it's the same thing. You would just take one die uh, you can put your little piece at the start gate, you roll it, and then each one of you will take a turn. So this one will move one space, and the second player rolls, and they move six spaces. And then whoever gets to the finish line first is the winner. So um, most of these all, most of these sheets you can um, find at Farmingdale Children's Pinterest page. Look for um, either there's a whole board that says math dice games, or there's a board that says uh, math ages um, three to five years old. So you can print them all out, they're free printables, and you can have a great time learning math and having fun. Thank you.